The centre was set up in 2014 when Kristen came back from America after almost half a century of academic and theatre work. The centre was then set up really because Kristen wanted that, that place in Orkney. Orkney was so fundamental to the work, the imagery uh, within the work and our teaching. So actually to be back in Orkney and for people from around the world to be able to come to Orkney and experience Orkney and experience the work where they're here. Kristen was regarded as one of the world's top voice coaches as such, but I mean her work was also extremely accessible, so it wasn't just a case of people from a theatre or a performing or an actor background coming. Her work was valuable to anyone in any profession to develop and enhance their voice. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man, in his time, plays many parts. 2020 was a very, very challenging year for us. Not only did we have to um, experience lockdown and the fact of travel had stopped, so the studio was basically, and the centre was basically um, not usable as such. Kristen also sadly uh, passed away in June 2020. I was the only buddy that was coming here in 2020 because we all had to isolate, we weren't meant to, but I had to check on the place and I had to check on Kristen, we spoke through the window and the day that she passed away, it was I knew there was something drastic. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. <sighs> then I was like, <sighs> It just like, felt like a roller coaster, to be quite honest. The person who had created everything was no longer with us. So the centre really had a real challenge to actually decide about the future and the legacy of Kristen's work. Oh, the, the, coming here and there was nobody here, it was just like, I just felt like greeting every day because it was horrible. When Kristen got her energy, so did I, for all the folk that come here. We were very successful starting an appeal the target monies that were sought were, were raised. And then we've just slowly, over the past two years, began to reopen. To see the place coming alive this year was very, very emotional, really. With Kristen having had that body of work, she also had that Linklater voice work. She also had a community of teachers, with designated Linklater teachers, who are, who are spread across the world. So they are now able to come here and teach you know, workshops for us. And we're also online as well. So again, there's that accessibility aspect too. But the core and the fundamental aspect is what we want to achieve still is voice work happening at the centre. Kristen called it a residential retreat centre. She wanted it to be that because it was for folk to come away for their busy lives and just concentrate on the work here and, and do the work. And they were not distracted by anything else other than me. <laughs> when we come here and explore the work here, there's a deeper connection to it that has to do with the space, with the huge spaces here in Orkney. And the centre is very well equipped and organised. You know, we have a very comfortable body and kitchen and a living room, so a great space with huge windows and light. There's no distraction, there's no busy cities, there's no, like, I barely touch my computer here, so I think it's really important as a, a voice explorer and uh, <laughs> the trainee to be able to have this environment to really just dig in. Christine really designed it in a great way. Like to build a center about the voice, developing the voice, bringing the natural voice on the countryside with the view for the ocean, changing weather. It really inspires me to go deeper in this voice exploration. We are definitely looking at how we diversify as well beyond just being a voice centre because it's important that the, the centre has, has use throughout, throughout the entire year. 
Uh, so we have had a lot of interest from third party special interest groups, whether it be walking holidays, cycling holidays, creative retreats. We have so many facilities here from the accommodation, the, the catering that we can provide, the studio space, the minibus that we can actually then take um, the groups that are staying with us out on any sort of limited excursion as well. So we have we have everything that we can do for people who are who are staying here. I'm really very much making it a home from home. I used to greet on a Saturday when they left. It was terrible. <laughs> Kristen used to say, when are you going to stop greeting? It's just you got attached to some of them quite a lot. Without the people, there's no place. That's how I feel. And for me to mark all their food and see what they want, it's like, it's a pleasure. I, I love cooking, I like doing it, and I like pleasing them all and trying my best to give them what they need.